Welcome to the greenhouse. Uh, last time we did a lot of strategizing, a lot of planning. You know, what is it going to look like? We went creative a little bit, started to gather some materials. Um, our plan was we're going to have some concrete going up over and uh, some glass sloping up. Um, and that will give us a, a greenhouse. Look, we're going to have probably four greenhouses total. I imagine one for crops, one for berries, one for trees, and a decorative one with some pretty little flowers in it. Um, and this is kind of the uh, goal for the time being. Um, I did bring the composter, which is what I didn't want to do. Um, so to accomplish this, we're going to have four different colors of metals because that is what I've been seeing in my Google searches. And our first one we're going to use is just going to be straight black. Um, so the crop metal is going to be straight up black, and that will give us some time to work on getting a little bit of bone meal for this uh, greenhouse here. And uh, we'll just put this here for now. So to help us in getting bone meal, we're going to use a composter. And um, so as we... Oh, hell yeah. Our first bone meal. I should probably get a chest over here. So as we um, continue to... Um, to do uh, more and more crop uh, generation. Oh, I should, I'm not even going to eat all those berries. I should compost those too. As we do more and more of this um, crop harvesting and replanting, we'll have more seeds that we can put in there. And um, it'll be great. We'll, we'll go ahead and put a chest here. And uh, yeah, that's where we'll store our bone meal that we get from this beautiful, uh, delicious looking composter. It doesn't look delicious, actually. It, it, it does not in any capacity look delicious, especially once you look inside. That's not very delicious looking. Okay, so there we go. That's all we got for now. Uh, but one bone meal is certainly nothing to sneeze at. So that's our first bone meal. And um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to I guess try and gather a little bit of seedage along the way the only problem is that it's very loud and it's hard to hear me <laughs> when i break the seeds and i am far too lazy to correct that in editing because i'd have to clip out or, or, or separate and split off the clips for every single instance that i break a bush and then slightly lower the game volume and then raise it again and then clip out the next time I break a bush who wants to do that no one does right it, everyone hates that so we're not going to do that for now what we're going to do instead is collect some sand and this is uh something we've you know this sand island uh has certainly been no stranger to this series i think um we've probably been to sand island in half of the episodes at this point we were here this time here last time and i'm pretty sure now it's been a while since i've recorded i mean it's been like a week but i'm pretty sure that we were here the time before that as well in episode five so you know definitely uh, sand island and us huge companions at this point we really get along well um so let's go ahead and work on getting a little bit of concrete here <laughs> i keep saying concrete it's gravel but it's concrete in my heart you know i already know what what the fate is for this these blocks that we're gonna get here and maybe we'll get some flints along the way and that'll help us get some arrows i'm gonna die i'm gonna live okay um so i don't really know the best strategy for this i do, i'm not really built to be doing any sort of underwater work considering that this is still um very early game like beginner game so, I'm not 100% sure how long this is going to take, but, you know, um, in a world without um, in, in a world without stacks of gravel already in my storage, that's what we're going to have to do, right? I mean, and, you know, it's not like I can just skimp and just not do concrete, right? Of course we're doing concrete. We're going all the way for this. If you've come this far and think we're not going to get concrete, I don't know what to tell you, okay? And it's going to be horrible. And we're all going to hate it. It's going to be grueling. It's going to be shitty. And it's going to be the worst job ever. See, look, I already only have 18. We've been at this for a while. But, you know, I think we can do it. We just have to keep coming up for air. This, this damn... Do you guys remember back in the good old days of 1.12 when you could just place a torch and just regain all of your air back? Those were the days, honestly. I yearn for those days again. Also, I need to move this foot over. Okay, let's go back up. And then we'll go down on this one here. Yeah, 112 was a lot better. Um, you know, there was... Uh, the chunk generation was different, so you could do RNG manipulation. Which I was never into Minecraft enough to do at that time. But I would love to try RNG manipulation now. But, alas, you know. Born too late to explore the RNG manipulation. Born too early to discover whatever the fuck else people would do, will do in the future that's game breaking but um you know, this is this is actually good we found ourselves a little gravel cave here so this should speed up the process considerably but um yeah there's rng manipulation there's the torch thing 
Uh, that way you could breathe underwater infinitely just by placing a torch and you regain all your uh, little water bubbles. You know, those were good days. Those were simpler times. But um, if this is going well, it looks like we're about out of our underwater gravel resources, though, which is a shame, truly. Definitely want to keep this going as long as we can, but, you know, all good things have to come to an end eventually. And it looks like this is ending right now. So, um, we, not for nothing, though. We got we got over a stack from that, so that is nothing to sneeze at. Um, so let's go ahead and come over this way. We are going to need to snag a little touch of clay as well, because we're going to want to make flower plots, obviously, for our beautifully little decorated one. For our pretty little greenhouse, you know. Uh, but, you know, that being said, um, that's so far off. Maybe we don't need those right now. But I kind of want them. I kind of want them. So, that's, uh, these are the struggles that we have to live with every day. Okay, there we go. And there's that. There's that. There's that. Okay. And, okay. There we go. Okay. So, um, this is, I mean, there's a lot of gravel. It's just slow going. There's no doubt about it. This is a slow going process, but it's really about the journey, you know? And it's about when we build the greenhouse and we look at that and we say, wow, I remember when I dug out all that gravel using a stone tool underwater without having any breathing enchantments, even though I could have, instead of doing this, worked to get diamond gear and enchanting tables and made my life way easier but instead you know this is our priority this is our priority we do this now instead of later because we want a beautiful looking greenhouse this is what this is our life okay um i don't know what i want to do with the front of it quite yet i don't know if i want um i, I don't know if i want to blend it into the world around it because i have some larger plans for this area and i don't think that um Blending it in with the world would look quite right right yet. Because like I was saying a little bit earlier, I do kind of want to turn this whole area into a sort of zen garden. And um, I could make the greenhouses look really good and pop by blending them in with the environment. You know, adding some greenery around them and maybe some trees and maybe some, uh, you know, vines and some bushes and stuff. But um, what if I don't like it? What if I come? it comes time to do the zen garden? And it's like, damn, this greenhouse looks great right now, but this is not Zen Garden material, right? I'd have to redo it all. So I don't want to really blend them in quite yet. I want to kind of work a little bit more on the um, area. Um, although in saying that, maybe we could just decorate them like a literal fucking Zen Garden and, um, you know, go from there. Uh, so we're going to... Ooh, that's a lot of gravel. All right. So we're all graveled up, graveled, graveled and ready. And um, we're going to go ahead and head back. Um, I'm going to try and get a few more seeds on the way back. We're not going to head back yet. What am I thinking? We need black ink, right? We need black ink. I don't have any wither roses. What are you, what are you talking about? This is, we still just started the world, so I need to find some squids. Um, that's an issue. Ah, it's not an issue anymore. So how much black ink do we need? Uh, well, to start, for greenhouse number one, we need eight, right? Eight eight ink sacks just to just to get us kicked off and running second greenhouse we want to do a little bit of gray right that means that we need four black ink that's a shame that's a shame oh no i didn't kill it because that brings our total up to 12 next greenhouse we want to do some light gray right two black ink truly a travesty we now have to collect 14 ink sacks but it's good now because i know exactly how much we need to collect and don't forget folks don't forget we have an ink sack back home we don't need no oh we got him we don't need to worry about getting 14 ink sacks all we need i don't have a bed all we need are 13 ink sacks now now that's not the worst thing i've ever heard of we're already not halfway there i don't know why i ate that food's not exactly the most lush resource i have right now but that's not a huge problem um we're just going to keep hunting for squids we only have six we want 13 ink sacks and um, we'll have enough for all of our concrete business um 
what I am worried about is not finding enough squids because for some reason I have really and this is across all my worlds this is not unique to the slimy world um, you know this which is the name of this world in my in my single player truly I say unto you I've not had much luck finding any squids of any variety now we do have a ravine over here that's kind of swanky let's have a peek over at this right see how this is going there's a drown on us but luckily drowns don't move horizontally very quickly now they do move vertically unbelievably fast but you know who cares right so we have some magma blocks over there that's kind of cool um it might be worth popping down there just to see is there any ink sacks because sometimes these have a nasty habit of pulling or i have the hiccups of pulling down some of the ocean wildlife and let's let's not lie about it you can get some dope ass resources from these things so we're gonna try and fight the current here no we're not we're gonna regain our bubbles okay um i don't see any ink sacks down here and saying that it's very dark but okay we're just gonna try and escape here oh no we can't escape here we can escape out here though so don't worry about it Oh, look, it was it was the it was the right idea, folks. We got a group spawn of squiddies. Let's just hope they don't go too far. Okay. Um Oh, three. Okay. We're close, we're close. We only need four more. We can get this. We can get this in this group. Come on, come on. Ooh, got him before he made his escape. And uh there's one more. There's ten. Come on, buddy, what do you got for me? Drop him, drop him. 11 oh shit we're not gonna get 13 are we rng was not with us today folks rng was not with us let's uh you're our last hope buddy what do you got 13 hell yeah all right rng was with us just barely but rng was with us so now we have the fun task of getting back to our world to our little abode to our little bed our little shelter without dying which is wonderful because this game is on hard i'm pretty sure let me just double check it is on hard uh, i'm not gonna lock it who who knows what if i have to change it right i don't want to you know i don't want to change it but sometimes i'm a wimp okay this is just our world that we live in so we're gonna try and get back without dying which shouldn't be too hard the real problem is when we get there can we sleep um and that's the real challenge that we're gonna have to face um, but getting there shouldn't be a problem, right? Getting around these these bozos isn't too tough. Um, killing skeletons may be a good idea because I could get bone meal that way. But honestly, this place is really fucking dangerous. <laughs> Did you see there was like three skeletons? There's two on the other side, one with armor. There's like two zombies. I'm not going to win this fight, okay? I have a stone sword and I don't even have armor. So um, this, is a, this is not a fight we're going to win today. I, I'm, a, I'm sorry to say. This is a losing battle. So, my concern with this now is that I have to fight a zombie. And the problem with zombies is that they attract all the zombies around them when you hit them. But the other problem, which is a little more subtle, is that on hard, if you hit a zombie... And now, in, on any difficulty when you have a zombie, it has a chance to spawn in uh, reinforcements. Like, it just did it! But on hard, the problem is, is that it has a much higher chance of happening. So, you're going to find that as I hit these guys... They're gonna spot in more zombies around, and the big problem with that is that I'm not I'm never gonna be able to stop killing zombies. So uh, maybe we can bring them over here a little bit, and we could definitely use that creeper to our advantage. That's oh shit. Okay, so that hopefully helped out a little bit, not as much as I would have liked. Um, <clears throat> we're in danger. We're in danger. Um. We're in a lot of danger right now, actually. Uh, what's the time right now? Oh, it's midnight. That's not very good. Okay, this spider's really being an asshole right now. Zombies I can deal with. Spiders, apparently, are getting the better of me. They're really getting my goat. Okay, there's another creeper. Okay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um, I don't have a shield. We can do this, though. We can do... Oh, baby. That's a baby. That's a baby. Okay. Panic. It's time to panic. We weren't panicking before. We're going to panic now. All right. There's a baby. Uh, we have to run. 
Um, the babies you have to take on Manui. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! That skeleton really ruined my life. Okay. Whew. This is good. This is good, actually. This is um, this is a positive uptick for us. I think. <laughs> I mean, when we compared this situation to the one we were just in, I'd say this one is a lot better for us. So we're just gonna sit here and regen, and um, I'm gonna take a little small break, and then we'll uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.